Raymond found me a few months ago. You never told me she was going to speak. You wanted to. I thought it was a lovely idea. And he knew that my mum would give me up when I was a baby and regretted it. He took a gamble because he knew my mum, Roisin, who wasn't sure if it was the right thing to do. But it was. Thanks for that, Raymond. And now I've got my mum and my family. And that means a lot to me. We've been apart all these years and we're making up for it now. And I'm really pleased I'm here today. Me too, pet. In accordance with this civil ceremony, witnessed here by your friends and family, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> this is the bit when you kiss. Excellent. <laughs> hey, come on, we need to talk. Give everybody a shout. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Lovely reading, I see. That wee speech from Alana was so sweet, wasn't it? I was so glad the wedding finally went off smoothly. So go. am I. We had a few hairy moments this morning, weren't we? Absolutely. <laughs> What's he doing here? Derek wanted him here, so I invited him. You invited him? This is a family occasion. Raymond! Dad's upset because Mac's here. I thought you wouldn't mind. Of course I don't mind. Thanks, Raymond. It means a lot to Derek. And he's got to be my first priority now, right? Yeah. See, Dad? I know it's difficult for you, but I can't alienate my son. And, uh, maybe I should just go. No. Dad's going to have to get used to you being around. He seems to have forgiven us. Yeah. <laughs> they look nice together. Going to the gents. Lovely speech. I meant it. I'm glad to find my mum. She means everything to me. So why are you prepared to spoil our happiness by lying here? Don't you get it? It's because I don't want to spoil things. I don't understand you. No, you don't. Come on, darling. Is it near our first dance together? I suppose. Do you mind this one, Lazy Ray? How could I forget? It was our song. I know our place doesn't look much, but if this is the flat we want to move to, if they accept an offer, let's get a let's go to room and everything. Let's get a garden for them and things like that. Okay. <clears throat> I know you can't tell me who complained about me, but I know it was my sister. She'd do anything to keep Franco. Look, I'm not a bad mother. Ruth's probably showed you all the press coverage and stuff I've had, but if I hadn't done all the interviews and stuff, I wouldn't have had enough money to, to put in an offer for a place like this. And will your boyfriend be moving in with you? Yeah. But he's not Franco's father. No, no, but... but Cormac loves him. I do have a note that he's got a criminal record having served a sentence for murder. Mum? Mum? You couldn't take my son away from me, are you? I'm sorry I annoyed you earlier. About Mac. I overreacted. I just can't stand the way he's worming his way into this family, that's all. Well, I suppose Alice wants what's best for Derek. And I just have to bite the bullet. What? 
go and talk to him. I've tried. There's no point. He looks as though he could do with a friend. Go on and talk to him. I, I've tried to make it up with him and he just blanks me. He's a, he's a stubborn old man. Aye, takes what you know one. Come on. The thing is, Frank will need continuity. And he's never going to get that with Joanne. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Must be upset at the break, can he? Wait, I can stay back this week and help sort things out. Look, I said I'm fine. If you ever need anyone to talk to, I'm here. I'm a good listener. Look, I've got no desire to talk to you, Ruth. The person I should be talking to is currently making a total fool of herself with a boy who's young enough to be a son. Come on inside, eh? The last thing I want to do is listen to your petty grievances against your sister. What? I'm sick of hearing about it. What is getting to you? Me? Look, you're the one with the problem, Ruth. It's about time you had a good look at what you've turned into. <laughs> Mark, have you seen Joe? Yeah. She had to go for the social worker. A social worker? Why? It's been a complaint. What? Oh, Gina, I'm looking for you. Did Cormac tell you about Joe? Yeah. Uh, there's obviously been some sort of mistake. I mean, who put in a complaint about Joanne? Joanne's convinced it was Ruth. Oh, no way. Come on, Cormac. No way would she do that. Oh, of course she wouldn't, you know. I mean, it could be anyone. Yeah. So social work's after Joe? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Oh, well, that's all we need, eh? Mm -hmm. I mean, once they've got their teeth in, there's no letting go. And do you think it was Ruth? Are you dancing? I'm asking. You've got a dance partner. Oh, come on, Malcolm. Don't be such a big baby. Oh, all right, all right. Hey, listen, listen, this is... It's just not my kind of music they're playing, Shirley. Eh? Well, manage. Now, is it no about time you made it up with George? He misses you, you know. I miss you. Ah, uh, well... Can we not be friends? If you're going to be angry with anyone, be angry with me, not George. You're a bigger man than this, man. George was your friend. You cutting him out is making him miserable. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> How what? Vinny. Aye. Oh, Vinny. What's going on, Eileen? What do you mean? I saw you with that boy. I thought you were going out with me. Was I? Of course you were. Well, it wasn't exactly clear, was it? We didn't phone or turn up for things or you cancelled at the last minute. What was I supposed to think? I told you, I've been busy. Well, I thought I was getting the push off. No. Then I'm sorry if there's been any confusion, but things weren't really working, were they? Weren't they? No. Eileen, have you seen Ruth? No. Ruth, I want a word. What? What's this I hear about social services getting a complaint against Joe? Doesn't surprise me. And she seems to think it was you. Tell me it wasn't you, Ruth. Well, people, please get off my back. I'm doing what I think is right, and as usual, Joe's been painted the victim. But if she's in trouble, she's brought it on herself. Alana. What? Come here. No, I'm having such a lovely time with these lovely people. I think you should go easy on the booze. It's a party. I think you've had enough already. What's going on here? Raymond thinks I'm drinking too much. You shouldn't be drinking at all. But I'm having such a nice time. Oh, get away yourself, Raymond. It's a party! That's what I said. Come on, darling. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm a weighty powder in my nose. 
Again. <laughs> well, how did that? Missing good. Drop. Ah, look, Mao. No, 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 no need. Water on the bridge. Friends. Friends. Can I ask you a question? You and me, and I know it's not cool to analyse things, but you're acting as if we're a couple. And you're not happy about that? Yeah. I'm just surprised, that's all. Is that what you want? Yeah, absolutely. Don't you? Mm -hmm. I need someone like you. Yeah, well, seeing as your last girlfriend was a bit of a psychopath, <laughs> I can see why you might want someone more grounded. That's not why. You're different. You're not like anyone I've ever been out before. Well, for a kick-off, I'm hardly a girl. I know. You're a woman. Much more interesting. You feel the same, don't you? It's not just me. I feel weird. It's like I'm dreaming. That's nice, I think. It is. It is nice. It's liberating. We didn't finish our conversation. I thought we did. So? You're finishing with me, eh? Just like that. I guess some toy boy's got the hots for you. I mean, this isn't the place. Oh, it doesn't stop you drilling over each other, though, does it? I mean, people are watching. Let them! They're not interested why someone like you is giving up someone like me for a jump in the sack with a schoolboy. University student, actually. Have you got any idea what you look like, I mean? A middle-aged fool, that's what. Listen, mate. If anyone looks like a fool around here, it's you. You had your chance and you blew it. Now, why don't you just bow gracefully to the better man? Man? <laughs> You're not a man. Listen, you've just been very rude to Eileen. And we'd both be grateful if you just go. Maintaining some shred of dignity. Or I'll be obliged to give you a slap. Not until you tell me the truth. Right, was it you that contacted the social services then? Well? So what if I did? I'm a trained nurse. I know when there's grounds for concern. I want what's best for Franco. And everyone seems to have their heads stuck in the sand when it comes to Joe neglects him. Oh, Ruth, she doesn't oh, neglect. she does! You know, just because she smothers him with kisses and uses him as an accessory on her photo shoot does not make her a good mother. What, so you reckon the social services should be involved? Actually, yes, I do. Why are you doing this, Ruth? You know why. Because I'm applying for permanent custody. I'm acting in the best interest of the child. No, you're not. Do you have any idea what you're setting in motion here? You're tearing apart a family and for what? Some sort of jealous revenge on Joanne? I am not jealous of Joanne. Ruth, darling, you are never going to get custody of Franco. But by trying, you're going to alienate your whole family. So just give this up. You know, I mean, you can still see Franco. Come on, I mean, you're his favourite auntie. Joe is his mother, Ruth, not you. Poor Vinny. You certainly put him in his place, Carl. Yeah, you certainly did that. Stop it. <laughs> Heather seems to be enjoying herself, doesn't she? Actually, I need to have a word with Heather. See you in a minute. Heather? Hi. Oh, Shazia. Um, this is David and... Don't tell me, is it Peter? Peter, the friends of Raymond's. No, sorry, acquaintances. I was hoping for a word. Yeah. She talked to these guys, they're not bad looking. Come on, Shazia. You relax, just enjoy yourself. They're attractive, and more importantly, they're available. I'm not really interested. Oh, come on. Sorry, I forgot. You're not really into men, are you? <laughs> Upstairs. You know, the usual. Mm -hmm. Living room, uh -huh. kitchen, bathroom, 
Anything else? Bed janitor? No, I don't live here anymore. So what? You can still give me the guided tour. No, 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 no I, I can't. We can't, we can't come up here. The newlyweds could come in. They won't. Come on. <laughs> right, ladies. Look, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I don't know what you doing your day. Oh no, darling, you couldn't. I'm on clown night. I just wish you and Alana could be pals. I'm sure you could if you tried. Yeah, hey, Alana, we're here. Now mark up here. Everyone's having such a brilliant time. I can't, it's turned out perfect. <laughs> Kelly Marie, I'm sorry about earlier. It's my fault. Friends? Are you okay? I'm so glad. <gasps> oh, did I just do that? Go upstairs and get some stain remover and clean it up there. I'll come up with you if you like. No thanks, I'll manage. Shazia, yeah. where did Eileen go? I'm sorry, I don't know. <sighs> Take it, you heard she dumped me. I'm sorry. Looks like I'm on morn again. <laughs> Yeah, I was. Yeah, the quick attractive. Can you give me a second? <laughs> what was that for? I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. Oh no, no. I feel free to do it again. <laughs> or uh, <clears throat> maybe it's my time to take the initiative. <laughs> I had no idea you felt this way about me, Shazia. We have an agreement. Do we? You tell me. Don't muck me about it, Lana. This is serious. Oh, it's just a bit of fun. Our little game. This isn't a game. This is my life. And mine. Raymond, darling. Time for the speeches. You knew, didn't you? You knew they were up there. You alright? So much for Callum liking me. Didn't he take him long to find someone else, did it? He's found someone else. Well, he's daft. And it's Eileen. She's ancient. He's obviously not worth it, Kelly. You're better off without him. You think so? I know so. You're pure gorgeous. And any guy would be lucky to begin it with you. You're just saying that. I know. You're like like a goddess who should be worshipped. I would. Worship you, I mean. I wish I could find a guy like you. Well, here I am. I'm not a cradle snatcher. Not like some people I could mention. Save me. Oh, from? It's Vinny. He thinks I fancy him. Why? I kissed him. What? Oh, don't ask. It was a bad mistake. But anyway, he thinks I've got the hot spell. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, how are you and Matt getting on? Well, very nicely, actually. I'm so much more relaxed around about him now. And Derek likes it when we're getting on. What? Just how well are you two getting on? Shazia, get real, will you? This is all about Derek. But at least now I can understand why I didn't like him so much 16 years ago. Oh, 
So, what are you two lovely ladies drinking? Fine. I'm fine, thanks. No, no, let me get you a drink. And don't you go running off on me again, you hear? Orange juice all round. <clears throat> right, you'll be pleased to know that I'm not going to go down the route of traditional wedding speeches. Thank God for that. <laughs> all right, all right. But as the groom, I'm going to take this opportunity to say a few words on behalf of my wife and I. <laughs> now, it's been a great day, but it wouldn't have been possible without a great many people who are here. In particular, Roisin's matrons of honour, Shazia and Alice. <laughs> Also the bridesmaids, Kelly Marie, hey. Alana, hey. and of course Hazel, who couldn't be here today, and she sends her best wishes to everyone. Hey. Also a special thanks to my father, George. Hey. <laughs> Not forgetting, of course, the three amigos, Vader, Cormac, and Scott. Thank you, boys. Thanks, everyone, for all your love and support. It has been a magic day. Cheers. Now, my new wife... <laughs> ..thought that we couldn't go on honeymoon uh, on account of us just having moved in here. Well, Roisin, I have a little surprise for you. <clears throat> Return tickets to Dubai? <laughs> but what about this place? But then again, when Hazel's getting back? It's all under control. I've had a word with Scott. He's going to look after the place for us. Are you pleased? <laughs> Amore Moon! <laughs> it's just on a phone! <laughs> Before the happy couple get changed to go to exotic climbs, I would like to ask you to raise your glasses and toast the newlyweds to Raymond and Rasheen. I love you, Raymond Henderson. And I love you, Rasheen Henderson. Come on, let's say another dance. No, there's no time. My flight's not at 11. Ah, but we've got to check in and all that. Come on. Right. See you, fine. Listen, Scott told me. Bruce tried to me. Listen, darling, we're going to sort all that out. Sort it. I'll try to take my baby away from me. No. Well, I will if Bruce get in to do it. Seems she's painted a very pretty picture in my life. Living in a home for one murderer. Oh, come on, she didn't say that. And that's just for starters. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you try and take my son? How dare I? Because you're a useless mother. You're selfish. You're self obsessed. And Franco doesn't need you. No, I'm not getting up. No, 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 you know, it's about time you stop getting away with what you want. You know, you're so selfish, you don't even know what you're doing to your own son. You're jealous. You always have been, ever since we were kids. You tried to kick Cormac, and now Franco. That's not true. Oh, that's right, walk away, Ruth. Like, you walk away from everything. You don't confront stuff. You just keep it all inside, poisoning you. Oh, really? And what about you, eh? You know, making money off the back of a man's death. Behaving like you think you're some kind of supermodel. Well, you're not. You're just ordinary. Please. Fine, please. Mum. Maybe I'm ordinary. And maybe I'm selfish. And maybe I'm self-obsessed. And maybe I'm all of these things. But I'd never, ever do anything as cruel as what you're doing. You're my sister. You're supposed to love me. 
and you try and steal my son away from me. Enough, Joe. No, it's fine, Mum. It's fine. I'm not going to touch you. So I don't want anything to do with you. Ever again. <gasps> and it's, uh, it's the bride and groom, everyone! greater than mine. <laughs> Listen, I was thinking, how about you and me go out sometime, eh? No, thank you. Oh, go on. I know you want to. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I think you're lying. I beg your pardon. Oh, come on, Shazia. Look, it's clear. You and me, we've got chemistry. What? You kissed me, remember? So come on, let's not fight destiny. How about dinner on Friday? No. What? Look, let me make this perfectly clear. I don't want to go out with you. But you were the... I don't fancy you. Get it? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you could be here today, oh. darling. <laughs> Only wish you were coming with us. Oh, I bet Raymond doesn't. Don't I get a goodbye kiss? Happy honeymoon. I've heard it, Ruth. Where are you going? I'm going to see my daughter. Yeah, well, I'm your daughter too. Yeah. Daughter? You're no daughter of mine. Sorry for the ropey start to River City's opening titles. I hope it didn't throw you too much. If you missed any of the week's episodes, tune in for the Omnibus this Sunday afternoon on BBC One Scotland at 20 past two.